So here are some general guidelines on IAM and best practices because I don't want you, if you go to use AWS, to make some mistakes. So do not use a root account except when you set up your AWS account. So by now you should have two accounts, a root account and your own personal account. And remember, one AWS user is equal to one physical user. So if a friend of yours wants to use AWS, do not give them your credentials. Instead, create another user for them. You can assign users to groups and assign permission to groups to make sure that security is managed at the group level. And you should create a strong password policy. Also, if you can, use and enforce the use of multi-factor authentication or MFA to really guarantee that your account is going to be safe or safer from hackers. Then you should create and use roles whenever you're giving permissions to AWS services, and that includes EC2 instances, which are virtual servers. If you were to use AWS programmatically or using the CLI, so the CLI or some SDK, you must generate access keys. And these access keys are just like passwords. They're very secret, so just keep them for yourself. Finally, if you wanted to audit permissions within your accounts, you can use the IAM Credentials Report and also IAM Access Analyzer. Finally, never, ever, ever share your IAM users and access keys. I am very serious about it. So that's it. We are nearing the end of this section. You know everything about IAM. I will see you in the next lecture.